So there's a guy on the YouTube by the name is Life is Overrated 96, something like that. And he says something in the video that says, check out my, my this shirt dope as fuck. Hell yeah, nigga, tournament of power type shit. Hell yeah, nigga. Hell yeah. But uh, he was talking about something and he said a word that kind of, you know, I like his word that he said. But he said, fake positivity. Fake positivity. And, <laughs> and it's pretty much people who, you know, you know, it's people who try to see the bright side of every damn thing. Everything that happy, oh, oh God, I see the bright side. Now, there are some things, now, I, listen, I will admit, there are some things in life where even though it's bad, it was meant to teach you something. I will say that I'm not saying every bad thing is bad. Some bad things is bad, but it was meant to teach you a lesson. And I can thoroughly raise my hand and attest to that shit. There are certain bad things that I went through in life where it's like, oh, okay. You know, I actually needed that in order to develop as a person. You know, I actually needed that bad experience to develop me. So I'm not saying every single bad thing that happens to you is a bad thing. Just like if, if a boxer loses a fight, gets knocked the fuck out. He's like, oh, shit. I lost the fight because I had my guard down. But now I know what not to do next time. And now I know how to go about it next time. Not every bad thing that happens to you is actually a bad thing. You know, um, it was meant to teach you a lesson. And, and, I, and I can thoroughly I could thoroughly raise my hand and attest to that. I will raise my hand to that for sure. But what I'm saying is to these people out here through his words, fake positivity it's people that want to see the bright side to every fucking thing. It's like, you know, you need to be happy all the time. All the time. You need to be happy all the time. Doesn't matter what's going on. You need to put a smile on your face. Be happy. Smile. Say cheese. Cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say it's like motherfucking fuck that damn shit. Some things ain't fucking worth being happy about, man. You know, not everything we're supposed to be happy about. Some things suck, man. That's just what it is. You know? You know? Like, do you think slaves was happy back when we had slaves? Are you going to tell them? Yeah, even you're being fucking lynched and hanged and being killed and being raped. Put a smile on your face. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You fucking idiot. Yeah, we ain't nothing happy about that shit. Or people in the Holocaust. They, them motherfuckers being starved to death and thrown in gas chambers. <laughs> and your motherfucking ass talking about some be happy. Get the fuck out of here, man. Shut the hell up, man. Fuck is wrong with your stupid ass. <laughs> Be happy these nuts. I mean, come on, man. But, you know, like, some things is meant to get angry over. How do you think revolutions start? How do you think when there's a revolution, what, what, what caused a revolution? Was it happiness? No. Because if you was happy, then there would be, be no need for revolution because you're happy. Revolution start due to anger, pain, frustration. That's what starts it. Anger, pain, frustration. Not no fucking fake ass positivity. Boy, you got to be happy. You got to be happy all the time. Put a smile on you. F is for friends who do things together. U is for you and me. N is for anything, anywhere at all down here in the deep blue sea. I said the fuck up, man. Revolution start due to people being frustrated, angered, pain, hurt. Sorrow, sadness, hatred. I want to fucking kill them motherfuckers, man. Fuck, I want to fucking kill them.
Kill the motherfucker. Fuck out of here, man. Come on, man. I need to trim my need to trim my stash. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. <laughs> Tw Twenty one Savage be funny as hell when he says dog. Come on, dog. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. The uh, civil rights movement was started due to what happened to Emmett Till. Emmett Till was a thirteen year old kid who got. His fucking head chopped off with the fuck his his fucking head split like this with a damn axe because he fucking whistled at a white woman. He said, "Oh my god, a black boy whistle!" And she uh, she was like, she, I think she was grown too, little ass boy, thirteen. I think it was thirteen, fourteen years old. And y'all and, and two grown ass men kidnapped them and chopped his fucking chopped uh, his fucking head off. Chop I me mean, not his head off, but chopped his head like that. Chopped this shit. Like this, you know, that's because he whistled at a fuck. I mean, that that's what that's what started the civil rights movement. That shit. They said, "Oh no, nah, man, nah, this this is too far. We can't take this no more, man. You got little kids being killed for no fucking re oh no, nah. little kids, man, a child. Oh no, nah. we got uh uh. Nope. Now we gotta do something, man. Fuck this shit. That's what started that shit. Sadness, anger, pain. That started that shit. Not no fucking positivity bullshit. The fuck out of here. That fake positive. Fuck y'all, motherfuckers, man. So, even though I believe in law of attraction, manifestation, all of that shit, but sometimes, man, you got gotta be fucking mad. Sometimes, man, you gotta be upset. Sometimes, this is what the fuck it is, you know? Because I used to be, because I used to be watching them videos about law of attraction. Oh man, I got, I gotta be positive at all times, man. Fuck that shit. Something ain't worth being positive over. Fuck that shit, man. So, so I want to say I'm out of here.